Hello, uh, welcome back. Let's talk about some of the biggest mistakes that I see beginners make um, in their setup position. So if you're a new golfer or a relatively new golfer, then these basic things in the, in the setup might help you improve your golf game. Uh, let's start with number one. Number one is the posture. The posture is important for strike and it's important for your swing plane. So the way that you should be taking your posture in the swing is if you stand upright, bend from your hips, a little flex from your knees, and then your arms are just gonna hang straight down from your shoulders. Okay, that's the correct way to take your posture. The incorrect way to take your posture, the mistake I see most uh, often is when people bend from their knees instead of bending from your hips. Okay, so number one is posture. Number two is balance or weight distribution. So when you're in your good posture, your arms are hanging straight down from your shoulders, then the weight should be squarely um, on your feet, meaning that you should be balanced. So you shouldn't feel that you're too much on your toes where you're gonna tipple over, neither should you be sat back on your, on your heels where you're just gonna get stuck. You should be in a nice athletic position, weight in the middle of your feet um, so that you're agile, but you're stable, okay? So number two is weight distribution or balance. Uh, number three is ball position. Okay, so we're gonna keep this really simple. So if you're hitting an iron, your ball position is gonna be right in the center of your feet. Okay, so regardless of whether you're hitting a, a nine iron, eight iron, three iron, then I want you to play the ball position right in the center of your feet. So we wanna play it in the center of the feet because that is where the lowest part of the swing is gonna be. And with your irons, that's when, where you want to make contact with the ball. So ball position for your irons is gonna be in the center of your feet. Now, if you're hitting a driver, then that's a different story. The ball position is gonna move so that it's closer to your front foot, okay? Fairway would kind of split the difference between the two. But irons are gonna be dead center, driver, it's gonna be inside your front heel. Fairway would just split the difference between the two. Okay, so number one was posture. Number two was balance. Number three was ball position. Number four is gonna be shaft position. So again, let's start with, with your iron. So we've already determined that the ball position is gonna be center. And I want you to imagine that the shaft is just going to point straight up towards the center of your body. Okay, so it's not going to be pushed forward this way. It's going to be dead center. Okay, now if you're hitting a driver or a fairway wood, the ball position is going to be, cent uh, it's going to be a little bit more forward in your stance. So in that case, then the shaft is going to point a little bit at the left-hand side of your belt buckle if you're a right-handed player, okay? But irons, dead center. Okay, all right, so the fifth thing that you need to check at the setup position is how the club is sitting, the lie angle. Okay, so your clubs are designed so that at the setup position, there's a tiny little gap underneath the toe of the club. They're not designed the club to sit flat, they're designed so that there's just a li little gap under the toe of the club. Okay, so that means that in order to get that, and once you've got a good ball, a uh, good posture, your arms are gonna hang down from your shoulders, and instead of lifting up this way with my hands, I'm just gonna let them hang straight down from my shoulders, okay? So I'm not arching my wrists up, I'm just letting my wrists hang straight down. And the effect of that is that the toe of the club is gonna be up a little, okay? Now, the reason we have the toe up a little bit is that as you swing, as you start your downswing, you're gonna generate force. The shaft is gonna bow downwards. So if you start with the club flush, the toe's gonna to tend to dig in. So we wanna just start with the toe a little bit up off of the ground at the setup position. 
Okay, so there's five really basic, easy things that you can do to correct your uh, setup position if you're a newer golfer um, or a new or a brand new golfer. Okay, so just to review again, we've got posture, we've got ball position, we've got balance, we've got shaft position, and we've got lie angle of the club. Take care of those things. That's going to help you with all of the other stuff that you need to do in your swing. Hope that helps.